This is a series covering a couple of techniques that I've used in this scene. We have a rocket with fake 3D fins that rotate around it. There's a technique for the northern lights and there's also a smoke technique at the bottom here coming out of the rocket. So this video we're going to focus on making the northern lights effect. It basically takes three main steps. So we'll start off with the first one make a new composition and we're going to make it really wide so something like 3000 by 1000 pixels we'll also rename this northern lights strings and that will make sense in a second so we'll double click on the rectangle up here and that will create a shape layer the size of your composition and onto that we're going to add fractal noise so we're going to use the fractal type of strings which is why the composition is called northern light strings this is step one change the noise type to spline and you get these these strings and the contrast I have set to 4000 brightness set to 30 and it kind of creates these clear cut lines and we're going to change the scale of these so toggle down transform uncheck uniform scaling scale width should be larger than the height so we'll change that to something like 600 and this to 200 and you have something that will form the basis of these northern lights. So we're going to just add a little bit extra detail to this. So if we click on the fractal noise effect, go up to edit and copy with property links. So we'll come up and double click the rectangle again, make a new shape layer and paste that onto this new layer. So it's the same effect, but all of the settings are controlled by the original effect here. But we want to change a couple of them. So on the noise type, we're going to have to press Alt and click on this stopwatch to unlink the expression. Change the spline to soft linear. And then we also want to go and change the mode to add. And you can see that the basic shape still follows the same as the original one. But there's just a bit more variation and it kind of wiggles away from the path. And we want to turn the transparency down on that because we want the main clean line to be stronger than this these extra details so maybe something like 20 percent and then we're going to animate the evolution so we'll go back to our original layer and on this fractal noise we'll go to evolution evolution options and make sure cycle evolution is checked this means that it can loop around so if you wanted to create a longer animation and have the northern lights looping then that would be how you do it so we'll set a keyframe here on the evolution go forward say five seconds and bring this up to one and then we're going to press N on the keyboard right click and trim the comp to the work area so now the strings will slowly animate and this will form the basis of the northern lights so if we go up and go to our project window make a new composition and this time maybe make it 2000 by 2000 still probably want it larger than a normal composition just so we've got a bit of space to work in so this would be step two, taking the original base layer of the strings, you right click, go to transform, fit to comp width, it will fill edge to edge. And we'll rename this Northern Lights Light Burst. And that's because that's the effect we're going to use here. So we'll go down to our effects panel, again search Light Burst, and we're using this CC Light Burst 2.5. So double click on that creates this warping effect and we want to change the center which would be here at the moment to minus 4000 zoom out once that's loaded to see that the center point has moved to the top here and at the moment the rays are going in the wrong direction so we'll just change that to minus 50 instead and as that animates drag that into a new composition and then add a hue and saturation effect to it click colorize change this to 155 or something like that and maybe change the saturation to 70 and you can just kind of subtly change what color you want the northern lights to be and that will animate along the path so that's how we kind of come to this effect where it's moving really slowly and you kind of get these light burst effect let me know if you have any questions like and subscribe Thanks for watching.